there's a lot of truth to what he said here. Now, this guy basically just uh, pulled in uh, 60 some million people right here back onto the plantation is what I call it. Because pretty much at that point when he was not running, pretty much everybody was uh, done with this fucking government and all the criminals and everything. They had to have a shining light come in and fix the problem. Keep everybody on the plantation from having civil unrest or total breakdown of the nation because we believed... And I saw it myself that millions and millions of people were absolutely fed up with everything. Everything. It's not two sides here, people. It's a one-sided deal, okay? The whole thing is one-sided. And that is a true fact. Even though that many of you can't comprehend or articulate that equation in your minds. You know, <laughs> It's pretty fucking amazing, you know. It's just like he writes here. It's pretty remarkable fact that, first of all, it is a joke. Half the world is cracking up in laughter. The United States doesn't just interfere in elections. It overthrows governments. And that's a true fact. We watch it. I've been watching it for 50-something years. And Governments it doesn't like. Institutes military dictatorships. That's another fact. If we, we, we were a free and open society, we wouldn't be meddling in other people's business, believe me. We would protect ourselves, we would have a strong military, but we wouldn't be over in every country dominating the world like we are, like a fascist, imperialistic country. And that's what this is. Simply, in the case of Russia alone, it's the least of it. The U.S. government under Clinton intervened quite blatantly and openly then tried to conceal it to get their man, Yeltsin, in, in all sorts of ways, said Kromsky. So, this, as I say, it is considered, it's turning the United States again into a, a laughing stock of the world, and that's true. So, why are the Democrats focusing on this? <laughs> he said. In fact, why are they focusing so much attention on the one element of Trump's program, which is fairly reasonable? The one ray of light in this gloom trying to reduce tensions with Russia. That's the tensions on the Russian border extremely serious. They could escalate into a major terminal war. Efforts to try to reduce them should be welcomed. <laughs> you know... People, if you keep listening to these people in the government and anybody that is related, look, Trump didn't get there because of you. They put him there. They're not elected, they're selected. And that is a fact. An absolute fact. Do you think that the powerful elite is going to allow some guy, a common guy like me or you or whoever, walk in there and start changing things and let them fuck them fucking lives up? Hell no. They're going to keep a tight iron grip on their control. And it ain't going to happen peacefully. The only way that we're going to take this control back from these people is probably going to have to be violently because they have minions, and I mean minions of idiots that will protect them in the name of whatever it is claimed. And that's another fact. There are so many followers that they're like cult sex that they actually believe this shit. That they believe these people. This is why they protect them. It's not a mystery, folks. People keep going, why, 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 why? Why? Because these little fucking pricks that protect these people, are they're, <laughs> they're not even fucking human. They don't even have a soul. And they can be bought. Bought on the open global market is what I call that. Because they'll do anything for these people. 
for a fee. And they get paid for it. Extremely well. So they don't give a shit, just like those people. Soulless, worthless, lowlifes that walk the earth. So, you know, the sad part is, and, and I keep saying this, and I've said it millions of times throughout my life. <laughs> if you don't want change, then keep doing the same thing you're doing. If you want change, you're going to have to think totally out of the box and stop walking on the plantation of prisons. Because this is a prison planet, people, ruled by the elite. Yeah, you're not walking around in chains and this and that. That's a fact. They have you enslaved in a different form, mentally and financially. That it, it keeps you down so bad that you think like a child. You react as a child. You actually keep going back to the same abusers and expecting them to stop doing their abuse. Like a child would. That's childish mentality. And then expecting the same very system, the very system that is protecting these people to change on its own, to wake up and have a turn over a new leaf and I'm just going to Stop being bad. Bullshit. This is why it is so bad right now, people. And it's gotten to this point. Because they haven't been caught. They haven't been punished. So the crimes get greater and bigger and more outlandish. That that little child mind just can't conceive that it's these people because it's so outlandish that it can't be them. It's got to be some kind of a mysterical thing that's happening, some phenomenon beyond what they see daily in front of them. But that is the reality right there. It's called deceivery. And most people are being deceived from the day they were born ensnared into this propaganda bullshit that's being fed to them through the most intellectual weapon ever designed in human history is communication through the TV. Why do you think that six corporations own the television broadcasting systems and just about every media outlet on planet Earth? And that's a fact. Because now that they can dictate the information that they want you to believe. And that is another fact. And why is it that these board members on all of these things all have a common factor with a common phenomenon of a group? Yes, and they're all in this group. And most of these people sit on these boards. And I don't even have to say what group it is because I'm sure you know who it is. And then we all say, oh, no, that's not them. That doesn't, they don't do that. Bullshit. They're right there on the front line. And you're telling me they don't have nothing to do with it? And see how child-minded that is? You're being shown the facts daily. They represent the facts daily of what I'm saying. And you just ignore it. Now, that's a sad reality. And the reality is, is it's called insanity. It's just like, we raise our kids to not trust strangers. Then you're going to grow up and you're going to go in, let's say, a military. And you're going to take orders from a stranger that you don't know. And another person is going to throw down orders from higher up, say, the government. And you don't know those people either. You may have heard their names and seen them on TV and read about them, but you really personally don't know them. And then you're going to go and get on some kind of a uh, equipment and ship over there or fly over there or whatever it takes, morph yourself over there and kill people that did nothing to you. Just like the insanity of the people over there doing the same thing. That's a form of insanity, people. I mean... Only a child mind would accept this reality and continue this paradigm shift of this insanity and keep believing people they don't even know. They've heard of, but they really don't know them. 
And then you're going to commit crimes. Crimes for these people. Thinking that you're doing your duty and all your honor and all that bull fucking shit. And who benefits from this? Small handful of people. The mayor, in fact, the very people that are calling the shots. And you still can't comprehend this, wrap this around your head. Millions of people die because of a handful of people making decisions. And we honor this. That is no other than a form of insanity. And that is a fact. So, either we grow up and become adults and take self-responsibility. Or nothing's going to change. Just keep doing the same thing if you don't want change. Because you just did. I really thought that, I, I really thought that, that, that maybe people were going to grow up from all of this criminal behavior and stop listening to the media moguls and, and the idiots in government, the criminals, and actually go, you know, we're just fucking done with this shit. We're not going to put up with it anymore. But she went back. I mean, this is insane, man. People, you guys just really enjoy the abuse. I, I really, I think you just fucking, it sexually fucking entices you to keep doing the same effing damn thing over and over again. And only a child, again, like I said, would do that. Or some kind of addicted mental mentality. Narcissistic and, yeah. Suck it up, people. Grow up. Grow some balls. Tighten your crotch up. Do something. Quit playing their game. Once we stop playing their game, you watch how fast the rats start scattering. Because they know the jig's up at that point. And you'll watch them scurry into holes and try to hide. Because they know that they're, somebody's going to come looking for them. And that's a fact. It has even been said and has been recorded by people through many years of these people talking. And quote unquote, if the people ever find out what we're really doing, we're dead. And you know what? That's a fact. Keep just following this bullshit, people. And you're going to enjoy a reality that you really wish you never fucking participated in. These people are keeping this world disgusting. And, it, and, and it's everybody. It's not just America. It is everybody at the top is the blame. And that is a fact because they're the ones that make this shit happen. It ain't us. We don't call the shots. And you know that and I know that. So let's call out the burden for what it is and really is. Because since they're calling the shots, they're the ones that are creating the problems. It's that simple. Quit being a child about it. Be a grown-up, and that's it. We know who the problem is, but we're not doing nothing about it. Period.